Here we are. It's the end of the game. The game is over. The good guys have won it. Six to five. Here's the man of the hour, Ganda. Of course. What were you trying to do? Were you? Uh, I just he wasn't throwing strikes, so I just waited until two strikes and threw as hard as I can. Try hitting the nuke, you know. Just trying to go yaya. Yeah, yeah. I, I to thought that one was gonna get out of here. I thought that was gonna be one of the biggest plays ever. I thought it was gonna be a walk off, and not to mention the fact that you were pitching with the bases loaded in the fifth inning, two outs. It goes right back to you. Good reflex right there. Thank you. What were you trying to do there with the bases loaded you know, two just, outs? Try to get my one out, pitch contact, you know, not walk him. And you did that. You did that with the wow. sixth inning and seventh inning. Not only did Ganda, yes, he is he a, is freshman, a freshman, Mitch. Of course, not only did Ganda walk it off, but he was also the winning pitcher. So we ready for Medina Tuesday? Oh, yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you. And, of course, that was a... Great win for the good guys. There's Derek. He made a few good plays out there, including that diving catch at center. Great play, by the way. And, of course, there was that what? No. There was that ground ball towards the third base side that was controversially called foul. But you know what? It doesn't matter. You still did your part in that seventh inning by getting on base, getting the walk. That was still a good job, Derek. I think if there was one thing that we did in the seventh, it's that we showed that we are a very patient team. There is no doubt about that, one, that, folks. And we are very patient, a good team. So the good guy, six, number five. Let's talk with Shane, why not? Because Shane started that rally. Yep, I got four pitches, got on base. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, Aaron told me how to hit again. You know how he told me how to pitch? How? Hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Oh, Aaron's over there. Of course, a good day here at Highland. Definitely a lot of fun, to say the least. Of course, Shane and I, we're going to Aaron. Mike Piazza, yes, I remember seeing you. That was a great game, both football and baseball this season, that's for sure. Thanks, bro. Sure thing. Hey, this is, this is Vinny, the receiver, number 10. Vinny, I remember you from... I remember you guys from the football season. That was a great game, of course. And I said, every time we play North Royalton in a game of football or any sport, it's typically a good game. Aaron told me he wants to get interviewed. Okay, Aaron, you got walked, and that yeah, helped contribute. Didn't Drew pinch run for you, I think? No, not me. That was um, Connor. Connor, Connor. Yeah, you... Shane has something you want to say, though. Okay. I already talked with Shane, however, so there is that. And, of course, and of course it's always a great game any time we play the... North Royalton Bears, that's right, match great game. We ready for Medina Tuesday? All right. Eager. Eager for Medina on Tuesday. Of course, there's Drew. Drew was a winning run today. Right, Drew? Yes, sir. All right. And of course, no interview slash post game show is complete without the interviewing of the coaches. So that means we'll start off with Coach Grissom, of course. Uh, down to bomb the seventh. What did you tell them at the, or before the inning started? Well, those are situations you don't have to tell them anything, right? They know what they know what the deal is. They know what we got to do. Okay. <laughs> and then, of course, there was a lot of patience out there in the seventh inning. Did you know that Dom Key was going to be a little inconsistent? I guess. Uh, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say that we had a scouting report on him, but we've got disciplined hitters that, uh, you know, they didn't swing at anything out of the, out of the strike zone. So they, they did a nice job laying off of, of everything back to back to back and put ourselves in position like that. Probably the most dramatic, what was more dramatic Thursday or today? 
Well, I would have to say Thursday. Thursday yeah, because that was a game. playoff That's game. A playoff game. That keeps our season alive. Right. We ready for Tuesday, Coach? Absolutely. Can't wait for it. Yes, Medina at Brookside Park. I wish I could be there. I'm not going to be there. I'll be there in spirit. Don't worry. All right, brother. Thank you, Coach. As always, let's get the job done on Tuesday. Have a good weekend, brother. Same with you. Well, folks, that is it. And that is all the time we have left here on Time Room Sports Live. And until we meet in the football season, well, tennis season, I think, fall season of high school sports next year, which has been so much fun to commentate the games over the last three years. We'll meet again in the fall season. Till then, I'm Tommy Maroon. So long, everybody.